What's up, guys? We're back. With Monster Hunter World. Now, if you're wondering what happened to Luigi's Mansion, it's still there. It's still getting finished. But we're going to continue that next session. I wanted to get in some Monster Hunter. Because I just, I want to play more. And this way, Waterboy can see it. I have not seen this game yet. Well, that's not true. I uh, tuned into your stream and watched you play for a little while. <gasps> you did? I did. Oh my god! I won't lie though; it didn't it wasn't very long because we were in the middle of doing something. I think we were playing Destiny. Oh, and then I, I was hoping you were gonna say sex. <laughs> <laughs> Turn into your stream while uh, uh, I was like, "Hey, hey, honey!" Monstering ourselves. Uh, it's like I got something to put us in the mood. <laughs> Look at all of these beasts. Just naked and raw. <laughs> so I'm guessing we are not starting the game over from the very beginning? Fuck no. Although, oh. So you, do, oh, oh, oh. you have to explain some stuff to me then as we go. Ah, uh, nah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was kind of thinking about maybe making another character just to see how close I could get to Kate Beckinsale. And if I could get really, really close, <laughs> abandoning my first one and just continuing uh... with the next one. But no, this is a grind game, and I would lose the 40-whatever fucking hours we're sitting up there. By the way, guys, loading screens. They are a thing in this game. Holy fuck, I cannot wait for the PC release. It'd be a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, got a login bonus. I got two well done stakes. So what we're gonna do, since we're gonna be all mindless and shit, we're just gonna keep looking for uh, this one quest that we're, I'm probably gonna fail a bunch. Well, I, so I mean like we a as a group. Bounty board kind of a thing, or kinda. So, go ahead. I was gonna, I was uh, talking with Heinz kid. You know he. Okay. And, or or is he Robbie Heinz in your stream? I can't remember. Uh, in the channel, he's just gonna go by Heinz. I think. Heinz. Okay. He, he's the H. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, but he was, you know, because he plays too. And so he was telling me a bit about it. But like, mm -hmm. so what, what kind of game is it really? It's not really a role playing game, right? Uh, no, it's all about you are hunting. Are you really, are you fucking, sh no one is doing this right now. So it's all about you are going and hunting monsters and you craft based off of the things that you get from them and other things you pick up from the world and so on. Craft, like, weapons, armor? Weapons and armor. Okay. And then they make you strong, and you go out and... So is it kind of like, an, like a, for lack of a better term, an MMO, but without maybe the, the, the massively multiplayer aspect? Uh, I guess, although I haven't really found... I mean, as far as I... I I'm not an experienced MMO player, having done one. Well, I mean, but you did that one... Pretty in depth. Sure, and I feel that it was, or I hear that it was pretty indicative of the genre. But yeah, at the same time, it's not. Uh, I I, <laughs> I feel like Monster Hunter doesn't really fit into that as as well because okay. it's all about you and gear. Um, the story is there, but unimportant. It's more of the way to kind of just. Get you running around? Yeah. Um, but this is all about... kind of. I would say that this is more akin, if you will, to a Diablo. Oh. That plays more like... And I, I hate having to repeat what so many have said, but I would say that this is a Diablo that plays out more like Dark Souls. Where in Diablo, you are gearing for the sake of gearing. Right. You're going for better gear, and that's what this is all about. Except in this one, instead of drops, they're crafts. Okay. Now, so as a person who's never played Dark Souls, uh, is there another... video? It's all about just extremely difficult stuff, and each every enemy can kill you in three hits, and you oh, just okay. have to be really good about execution. You will die a hundred times on every boss, and... So is it like, I mean, the places you go, so it's just kind of like a dungeon crawl a little bit where you're just looking no. for monsters to kill monsters? And no, then... it's more, they are, uh, I, I, these five zones that you can get into, they're all, they don't change. Okay. Um, you can run around them just as a regular expedition without doing any sort of a quest, or you can have quests where, like what I'm doing right now is an optional quest. Okay. So because of that, the hunt, the monster that I'm hunting is in here, and we will go and find it. If you do an expedition, 
monsters that are normally indicative to this area might not actually all be here. Oh, okay. And when you fight them on an expedition, they also have a bit of a time limit. Once you engage them, they are... They're around for a while, but they start to get tired of you, so you only have so long to kill them. Okay. Um, you can also capture them, and you somehow get more materials out of them that way than if you kill them. I don't get it either, but that's <laughs> how it works. I assume that they just were more along the lines of, well, we have to reward the more difficult thing to do. Right, I yeah. Guess. I guess. I mean, I won't lie. Like So far, it sounds like a cool game, from what I heard from you now, from what I heard from Heinz, like... It sounds like a game I probably enjoy. I've actually yeah. been kind of thinking about it. You should. And then we can fail <laughs> in getting in an online game because it's just fucking horrible. Oh, the like, online doesn't the, work well? Oh, it's it's atrocious. Ugh. Um, That's you surprising. Can't, you actually, can't just do something as simple as join your friends. Uh, it, no. you, you have to jump through hoops. I, I <sighs> did manage to do so in last night's stream with Moss... But other than that, it's just, it is terrible. I mean, Reckless and I tried for 20 minutes on my stream doing various different ways of trying to get to see, just see each other in the game. Really? Let alone play with each other, and we couldn't do it. Uh, Moss and I managed, but again, jumping through hoops. And so, if, for example, and there, there are barriers to that, too. You cannot join me if I am on a story quest that you have not went to yet. That's just... You just can't. Mm. Uh, so you can only, like, replay content with each other? Yeah, basically, because... Here's another stupid thing. When you do a story mission for the first time, you end up... Um, at some point, there's a cutscene. Whether it's at the very beginning, or it's when you come upon the monster for the first time, whatever. There's a cutscene. Mm -hmm. And the cutscene is actually a requirement. You have to see the cutscene to Wait, who's that guy i did an sos flare i called for help oh okay so you can join random fucking people easily enough oh my god but friends but friends yeah so if you haven't seen that cutscene and you try to join a mission there where the monster is in play you can't because you haven't seen the cutscene yet so <laughs> if you're going through with your buddies and you're doing story missions Watch. even if you get in there together once the cutscene plays it'll kick everyone out it's just Oh, man. It's so bad. I don't know where that guy's running off to. He's he's not following the green. So the green is telling me where the monsters are. Yeah, it's kind of starting to figure that. Like the, this seems like the... Uh, reminds me a little bit of Fable with the uh, how they would have the, the like light trail that you would follow to get to whatever quest you were on. And Yeah. Okay, now this thing is pointing behind me again. So the, the these little green flies, yeah. Oh, good. I found a campsite. Sweet. So, so what is the, the, the premise here? Like, is this a fantasy? Sci-fi? Uh, it's fantasy. Fantasy? Yeah. I've got super strength and all that noise. I'm not supposed to be able to get up there. Let me see if I can use my weapon to... Ah. Uh... It, it's like an action game too, right? Like. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Can you, like, jump around and do goofy things? Like, I've noticed that you can do some sliding and jumping, but, like, is it very, like, open environment? Uh, or do they kind of railroad you yes, in your exploration? Yes, but it's limited in a way okay. because this game has existed for so many years. Um, oh, is he back down here? This game has existed for so many years on handhelds where they couldn't go nuts. And so this is the first oh. one where they're like, oh, we, we need to develop this for the new platform and make it tough. And that's what's been going on. Okay. Because, yeah, I guess, like... You know, you can never really tell what these, like, sort of behind-the-back games, right? Because, like, they could be anything. Like, I mean, this could be, like, Star Wars The Republic, where it's tab-targeting, and there's no actual, yeah. you know, skill involved. Like, no Twitch skills involved, I should say, other than hitting your cooldowns at the right times. Oh. Right. Or it could be, like, something like Assassin's Creed, where it's very open environment, you can do almost anything, climb on almost anything, and, like, combat is all about Twitch skills, like, is this sort of like in between then? Like you use Twitch skills plus numbers in combat? Uh, this is where the Dark Souls thing comes into play. You're going to see I'm doing everything I can to deal damage to the boss, but at the same time I have to avoid all of his stupidly, you know, invisibility oh, okay. frame filled moves oh. that also deal damage. See, I just got hit. Yeah. And there goes 80% of my health in one hit. 
I mean, mm. he is a giant T-Rex thing. T-Rex Stegosaurus. Uh, there is something that's Love much child. to it. To... <laughs> oh, he just, got, he just stunned me, and now he can hit me again. Your health is back up to max, though. Uh, well, I use a health potion, but I only get oh. to carry 10 of those in battle, so... See, look at that. Someone just died, and by the way, we can only die twice. It says three times, but I'm pretty sure it's twice. <laughs> All of us to get combined can only die that many times. Otherwise, the mission's over. Okay. And that I guy just... has a cannon. Yes, there are 14 different weapons. Th is there any classes, or oh, is it just... Oh, shit. You are a monster hunter. No, you are a monster hunter, and okay. you can use all the different weapons from the beginning. That's cool. I like that. Yep. It's actually, uh... You ever, did you ever play Guild Wars 2? No. Okay. I, 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 I last, uh, no, no. While we were talking about Super Secret Project, that's when you brought it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, I mean, it, I played it a little bit, like, because, like, they had one weekend where, like, they... I think it was because they had, like, an expansion coming out, like, in a month or so, so they were trying to hype the game up a bit. Okay. And they had a weekend where they were selling the game for 10 bucks. And, like, the one thing about it that I liked... Ah, shit! ...was that, you know, it's, like, it's an MMO, but it didn't have a subscription. It was a buy-to-play. Yeah. So I was like, 10 bucks? Like, eh, why not? So, you know, my wife and I bought it, and, uh... And we, we played it for a while, it was fun, but like, it is an MMO and we just, we didn't have like the, uh, <laughs> just the bandwidth for another MMO at the time, since we wow. were already playing Star Wars a little bit. You! Yeah. So he hit me, and it stunned <laughs> me, and then he hit me again. And this game is that unforgiving. Okay. So now we already have two deaths, and we haven't even fucking caused the monster to flee once. Which is usually a measure. Hmm. So I'm gonna eat. But uh, that was one of the things I liked about that game too. Was uh, it, it had classes, but like the the diversity in the classes, like it it was very simple hot uh, like a hot bar. Like you know, in Star Wars, you had like you know, I don't know, was it twenty something abilities on your hot bar, mm -hmm. right? And, like, and that's not even counting like the items and like the little you know stims and stuff that you were running to, and and but like Guild Wars was like five, and but the way that they got their diversity, the way that you had like depth to it was. Those your hot bar was entirely determined by the weapons you were holding, and you got different abilities if you were different classes, right? So like, if you were a fighter or whatever they called it, was a warrior? I don't remember. But like, if you're holding like a long sword, you'd get like some abilities. But if you were like a wizard and you're holding a long sword, I don't remember if they even could hold long swords. But you'd have a different slew of abilities. Okay. But like, if you were a wizard and you put like a like I remember I remember this. If you had like a dagger in your hand, um, your spells were like really fast and cheap. But lower damaging, but if you put like a staff in your hand, like your spells would tend to be, you know, a bit more expensive in terms of like your resources, and then like they'd be slower to cast, but they would be like giant, splashy, awesome spells. And it was it was just a really cool way to do it because then like, you know, no two wizards were the same, no two warriors were the same. Although I guess like meta games, you know, did eventually show up or, or probably pretty quickly. Um, I do remember reading a little bit with people talking about like how awesome they call them hand bow warriors were where they were using hammers and bows. Okay. But like uh I don't know, it was just a yeah, just it was a cool system. I like that system. So like the fact that, you know, in this game I I'm guessing from the sounds of it then, like you just you know, your your guy plays differently depending on the weapons you're wielding. Yes. So I mean that's I think that's a cool system. I like that system. Well, we're going to continue this next time, guys. Hopefully we kill the Teregostegosaurus. <laughs> and I promise, we'll talk less about Guild Wars. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time on We Talk Over Bye -bye. the Outer World. <laughs>